Sup, y'all, bring you guys another video. So, as you guys can tell by the title, it looks like a uh, potential fight between George Combosis Jr. and Mr. Devin Haney is uh, looking very unlikely. Uh, before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, um, like I was saying, it looks like a fight between Combosos and Haney is, uh, looks like it's not happening. Um, it sucks because a fight between Haney and Combosos would uh, determine who, you know, truly is the WBC champion with Combosos holding the WBC franchise belt and Devin Haney holding the uh, regular belt. There's always uh, arguments and uh, disputes and, you know, talking about who actually is the WBC champion. Uh, in my opinion, I honestly think it's George Combosis Jr. I consider him the undisputed champion at 135 pounds, but you know, a lot of people disagree with me because Combosos holds, I mean, uh, Devin Haney holds that regular belt for the WBC. Anyway, um, Boxing Scene wrote the article about it, and as you guys can tell by the headline, Debella Combosos moved on from Haney fight, made her an offer, counter was preposterous. So if you read the article, um, here's what Lou DiBella said, and I quote, He said, I made the offer first to the zone because Eddie Hearn has nothing to do with my fighter, despite the fact that since before the fight with Teofimo, he was trying to confuse people and act like he did. But I made, the, I made an offer to him over a month ago. Within an hour of another, uh, within an hour of one another, I made the offer to both the zone and Eddie. The zone told me Eddie would counter the offer. Eddie countered the offer on January 28th with something that was beyond insulting. But I'm not going to talk about the details of our discussions because I don't believe in negotiating, negotiating in the press. And I'm not going to engage in a back and forth with someone who is just bold faced lying. And then he goes on to say, and I quote, it reads, I made a very fair offer to Eddie. And it was countered with something ridiculous. We've moved on. Okay. And by the way, there's a lot of concern in Australia. Even though Bill and Devin keep saying they'll do whatever it takes, they made it very clear they're not yet vaccinated. There's about to be a law put into effect, potentially, in Australia where you must be boosted. Not only fully vaccinated, but boosted to go to an event. So... I mean, the reality is I made an offer weeks and weeks ago and was countered with something that was not only an unfair response, it was pros pre preposterous. Jesus, I can't read. <laughs> and he goes on to say, uh, and I quote, it reads, Eddie is going to around saying he never received an offer from us when the people who he does business with at the zone who are his benefactors 100% know that he's not telling the truth. If I didn't see this article in writing, I would have kept my sh mouth shut. But he's lying all over the place and I've had enough of it. I'm tired of all the happy bullshit. And you can quote that. I'm tired of all the happy bullshit. Um, if you want to read the, all the article of it, if you want to read the whole entire article, go to Boxing Scene. Anyway, um, yeah, pretty much there's been a lot of back and forth on social media. People saying, you know, Team Haney and Team Camboso saying, you're lying, this lying, go check your email. We made an offer, you guys didn't accept, you're docking, this and that. And, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's honestly just ridiculous at this point. At least when it comes to this, when it comes to Combosos versus Haney. When it comes to Lo uh, a potential fight between Combosos versus Lomachenko, I think Lomachenko was on social media saying that they sent uh, Combosos and his team uh, an offer. I, I don't think I made an offer. I don't, I don't think I made a video about it, but you know, they sent an offer to Combosos and his team and they're just waiting for, an, for a response. So it's looking more likely that Combosos will be fighting um, Lomachenko next. That's what it looks like. Um, which I don't mind too. Uh, so, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I just hope that Combosos does not end up fighting some random guy we've never heard of. That's all I'm hoping for, honestly, at this point. 
um, but it looks like Haney is off the table and uh, I'm crossing my fingers that it will be against Lomachenko next Kambosos versus Lomachenko please be next um, anyway it is what it is let me know your thoughts and comments thanks for listening thanks for watching and like always have a great day alright thanks